Read the final countdown. I said to you then, wouldn't it be nice if you can break in the British charts? And it was like, oh yeah, please, it would be wonderful. And you've leapt in at 14 and, and still climbing fast. Must be brilliant. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah? Really, it's really it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. We're having a good time. Yeah. So did you, did you imagine that you'd go into the commercial charts like that? Because people like Bon Jovi and I made and Run DMC, they're all sort of, it's rock revival all of a sudden. What, what do you suppose this is? Well, it's good. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's a great song. I don't know count. why, but... I guess it could be something to do that the people are with, they are working with this kind of business in yeah. the business are growing. The young people are actually getting these jobs in magazines and radios yeah. and things, so that it's actually more acceptable to play this kind of music. Which is great for you. Yeah, it's wonderful. Have you always played this type of music? I mean, I know you were, there were, originally there were three of you called Force back in your school days. I mean, who That's did right. you used to listen to in those days? Could be Thin Lizzy, UFO, Rainbow. Yeah. The, the English melodic way of doing it. Now sadly one of the uh, Johns, the guitarist, has left That's since right. I last spoke yeah. to you. What happened? Yes, well he decided that it's uh, too much for him, you know, he wanted to he, take it more he's easy. He's not in for this promotion and so on. He, he was, he wanted just to play, be, mm. being a musician. And, I mean it's fair for him to, to leave the mm. band at this stage because it's important that the band is fit to we get one. Yeah. We really want to go forward and, and Sure. Well, Shame though, now you're actually making it that he's gone though, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Because yeah. when you, I mean, you left school and you had this, I know this contest you went in for, which you got a, a record uh, contract out of it. Well, tell right. me about that. What was that about? It's actually our manager, Thomas Erdman. Yeah. Yeah. Thomas, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> this is about you. Okay. Uh. Now, he started this competition and it was a huge one. 2,000 tapes. Bands. That's a huge one. Yeah, it was 2,000 tapes sent in, and it was four ba 400 bands competing. Yeah. And we got to the final. Yeah. That was Lucia Knight. And you, got a, and you got a record contract. Yeah, Did you think, this is it, we've made it. We're, we're, we're there now, we've done it. No, we were surprised. You were because, surprised? Yeah, there were not a lot of bands singing in English in Sweden, in Sweden at that time. Because you know, when your first album came out, it didn't really get that much attention, did it, Wings of Tomorrow? That was the second one. Second the first one. Well, one, the well that one either. Well, both of them yeah. really. Neither of them really. Did Actually, the thing was, the first one was most for, mostly for Sweden. Mm. You know, we got well things Sweden, going there in Japan. Yeah. But mm. the next one is actually the record that the CBS found and, and made a deal from. Mm. So that was good for us to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a couple of good songs on there too. Wings of Tomorrow. Well, just the fact that you, I mean, you're from Sweden, of course. Are you going to be like these big stars now when, when they make it, they think, right, well, we'll get out, we'll get out of our home country. And, and we, I mean, is Sweden still going to be your base, do you think? Yeah, we have, we have, not, we have discussed it seriously, and we, are, we have decided to stay in Sweden. Maybe put some money on elsewhere, but we yeah. will stay in Sweden because we love the country. That's good. Have you always, have you always sung in Swedish or before, or do, is it like, you know, never we've got Swedish. to... Never no. No. Why? in English. It's a rock and roll language, simply. English, you, can't, yeah. you can't sing a good rock song in, in, in Swedish. That sounds ridiculous. It's Do you want to break into the American chart now? Of course. Yeah, that's part of the plan, Stan. Yeah. So. Stan. <laughs> Amanda. He <laughs> keeps singing Amanda. It sounds good, actually, you singing. Um, you, got a, you went out last night, you two. Where did you go? to a place called the Slime Light. No, the Lime Light. Sorry, Which one of you was hangover? I was told just before you came in, one of the guys are hungover. Which one is it? You both do very well. That's right. No, we feel good. We feel good. Fantastic. So now we've got the album out here. The final countdown. Right. That's the album. Sound effects there. And a stopwatch. What you're going to do is give us five stopwatches and five albums to give away as prizes. You've got a question for our viewers. Yeah, let's find out. From what town are we actually in Sweden? Oh, what town do you come from? What town, yeah. That's quite, a, quite an English yeah, one, isn't it? That's good. Yeah. All right, so what town do you come from? I'll give you the address at the end of the show for that. Listen, it's been really nice talking to you again. Yeah, I mean, so. come a long way, haven't you? So even since I last spoke to you, even though you were number one That's all right, over Europe. Yeah, yeah. Broken here, you're going to break in America, go all the way. Fantastic. Hope so, hope so. Fingers crossed that it goes right to the top of our charts yeah, as well in Britain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.